Hugh was born August 30th, 2015. He was a normal child of the best of upbringing, given the best experience, breastfed for 18 months, most organic food you can get, bottled water, uh, most brilliant experiences and the most amazing holidays. Hugh started to feel unwell during the October half term in 2020. The wife was concerned there was something more underlined than a stomach bug, so she took him to the doctors and then to the hospital. On October the 23rd, 2020, age five, Hugh was diagnosed with a high-risk rhabdomyosarcoma, a highly aggressive cancer of the soft tissue, a one in 60 million chance of having it. He was given a treatment plan that started off with 26 weeks of intense chemotherapy, followed by 16 sessions of radiotherapy and 12 months of maintenance therapy. Hugh rang the bell on the 23rd of May 2021. The main treatment was over, he would then start maintenance treatment. Throughout Hugh's treatment, he was a ray of sunshine and never showed any fear of the needles, the procedures, the medicines and of the doctors. Hugh used to make fun of having cancer. He used to play spat the cancer in bed. It made life so much easier knowing that he wasn't afraid. As parents, we never told you the gravity of having cancer and the severity of his diagnosis. We knew that chemo and radio could do to him in the future. We had to sign the forms telling us of all the risks. Because of COVID though, this burden often fell upon my wife because there'd be one parent in at a time. But as parents, we had no choice. We had to put you through the treatment because it hopefully saved his life. Beans is beans, good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. Around Hugh's sixth birthday, 30th of August 2021, he started to feel unwell. And on September the 8th, Francis and I were told that the chance of a cure for our son had diminished. Our beautiful son Hugh was going to die from this evil disease. I remember asking a consultant in the room, what should I do? He told me, be strong. Hugh sadly passed away holding mine in his mum's hand on Saturday the 18th of September. But Hugh's legacy lives on though. In his honour, Francis and I set up a charity called It's Never You. This beautiful blue-eyed boy is now inspiring everyone with the tales of his courage and his bravery. Why did we set up It's Never You? As parents, we felt there was no support mentally, physically and financially for parents. To this day, no one from any organisation has contacted us to see if we were okay. This cannot be right. And after a consultant told me to be strong, we thought there must be more than this. So we set out to change it. It's Never You provides support to parents via social media platform, Cocoon. We are there to create a form of community to help parents who are on the journey that we went on. On Cocoon, we offer support in numerous ways, by offering advice from professionals in their fields such as mental health, physical well-being and financial advice. Two, a safe place for parents to communicate with each other without harm of misinformation. Three, we offer parents a chance to have support from other parents at different points of the journey who can advise and support about what is to come or has happened. And finally, we support parents in hostels with vouchers for food, days out and with items such as bizarre pyjamas and wellbeing items. We thank you all for your support and together we can make sure that when a parent is told their child has cancer, they shouldn't have to be alone. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's human in Davis. <laughs>